He followed two paths. One led to moments of boxing greatness and worldwide respect. The other led to a psychological maze from which he may never escape. Yet, as we'll see over the next hour, Blob Tang fights on. Blob Tang comes from a place that you and I would prefer not to even visit. It was a survival of the fittest, the basest of instinct. This next one is out of sight. Blind Lucha Muay Thai. Let's play the song that's for the Mexican people. for the band, everybody. That's a sweet-ass band right there. Oh, snap. So, what we have here are Lucha Lord Libertor masks on. They are blindfolds, right? These guys cannot see shit. There's a little bit of a shadow, obviously, and because they have big, fat heads, it's not going to fit over their big, fat head. Big, fat heads need to go to Weight Watchers, lose some of that big fatness, get up on it, you know what I mean? Ladies and gentlemen, first, fighting out of the blue corner. This blue corner has a 28 and three record, is 24 years old, is repping P. Chat Chai Jim up in Patea. Give it up for the one, the only, Blob Tang, Mike Zilla. Mike Zilla does not know where the cameraman is. And his opponent, standing across the squared circle, this man is body positive, hailing also from Thailand. He has a record of 265 wins, 78 losses, 42 years young, the opposite, and he is coming out of Dragon Muay Thai. Let's give it up for the one, the only, the man, the myth, the legend, the one and only, Petzilla. Yeah, Pet. Hey, uh, round timers, how many is this? 390 seconds? Three 90-second rounds of action. Hold on to your seats. Buckle up, clown. You know what I mean? Buckle up and get prepared. And when the action gets underway, fucking Spider-Man is in charge. And here we go. Lutro Muay Thai was not quite sure they are going to put a mask on, and sure they did don them. Talking about masks, Luke, you're here in a blindfold as well. What can you see? Uh, absolutely nothing. You guys need to be very descriptive. I'm doing this in solidarity with the afflicted around the world. I'm commentating this fight blindfolded. Shouts to Jordy Weeds out there. Thanks for being a fan for always, kid. Let's do this. All right, Luke will, Luke will be commentating blindfolded just as these fighters are fighting semi-blindfolded. Wow. We have Petzilla and Godzilla. Blob Tang trying to left right there, but he has no clue Just where hit. Body Positive is. Another reaching left. He great, kicked Ted. Great Wait. kick by both fighters, and that's a big right, left, right. <laughs> I felt some vibrations. This has to be kind of a decent fight at least. Body Positive taking some shots. Blobzilla now finding the range, Ted. Love that knee. Could you imagine the technique from a guy that size? <laughs> Luke, what are you feeling? Uh, confused? But my other senses are heightening. I, like, who smells like that? I just keep going, guys. Keep going. I need to, I need to hear to know what's going on. Mechanical failure right there from Body Positive. But, I mean, talk about Blob Tang's impressive showing here early in round one, Ted. I mean, the technique is, oh, I didn't know he had this many weapons in his bag. A guy it's who. A big bag. He doesn't need eyes. He's got the legs. There we go. Kick for kick. Who's kicking who? What's happening? <laughs> Blob went up top, just grazed Petzilla. I'll say this, I'm shocked that his physique, he is performing these maneuvers. Big knee by body, body positive though in the middle. I feel like the clinch is his wheelhouse, Luke. Uh, are we talking about Petzilla? Again, I cannot no, see the blob. any. We're about the blob. Oh. You just said blob. Boo-boo-cow. Boo yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'll take your word for it. Sounds like he's doing fucking great. <laughs> 
walking him down. He's controlling center stage right now. Got him in the corner. Can he work, Ben? I like the movement from Body Positive, but you can see Bob Tang is finding him at every single opening. Excellent kicks from both, but Positive circles out, Ted. Penzilla has the experience, but did not show it in round one, man. Not at all. Where's not at all. Luke, your takeaways. Where's my beer? Can there someone put it? Can someone put it in my hand? <laughs> yeah. Where, where did it go? Oh, it's right there. Where Shoot. did it go? It's, uh, it's between my legs, Ben. You're gonna have to. Be there it is. There it is. Ted's got it. Okay. What was a really great pressuring round from Blob Tang? Absolutely. I loved how he found Body Positive, walked him down, but Body Positive using the rings as eyes. Ted, I'm impressed by both guys. I am as well. I really think Blob Tang took that, and I think he's going to use what he has gained that in round one, in round two. I think he's going to continue to push forward. I think he's going to continue to keep that center and move Petzilla into the corner and go to work. You know, Luke, when we think about some big uh, changes both guys can make ahead of round two, where is your head at? Yeah, I mean, I believe you're calling Petzilla body positive. Am I correct in that? Yeah. Okay. Petzilla, it sounds like he's going to have to make some adjustments because the thuds, I can hear you guys usually are saying Blobzilla's name, so that would lead me to believe that's probably a 10-9 round Blobzilla, but again, I'm blindfolded. How the fuck would I know? Which is so shocking, though. I thought Petzilla was going to come here and just go to work, and he did not. Let's see. Maybe he was toying with him. Maybe he was allowing him to gain some confidence, and maybe we're going to see Petzilla now go to work, but I think he needs to take round two, Ben. I will say this. Petzilla, body positive, is 42 years old. That's 18 years older than Blob Tang. The fact he's here at all is really impressive to me. A lot of tread on those tires, if you will. <laughs> your, your take, Luke? <laughs> uh, here we go, round two, I guess. Uh, back to the action. Uh, who's doing what? I don't Petzilla know. With, Petzilla with a cheap kick right off the bat, but then gets back. Sorry about that. Go ahead. Again, the range finding from both guys, like you're saying, Ted, they're not playing around here. Now we're starting to see some kicks down low. Blobzilla going up top to the penthouse with a kick and then a right left. Good boxing right here from Blob Tang, but why Petzilla would, doing okay. Why would Petzilla want to get into the clinch with someone that blobby? Luke? <laughs> I, I, can he actually clinch someone that enormous? Where are they? It's tough. It's, it's quiet in here. They are right in front of us. It feels weird all of a sudden. It might work to his advantage. A guy that size, when you're in on him deep, it's going to take him a while to move around and adjust. There might be some you opportunities know, for Petzilla. Bam. It's jokes. <laughs> when I see a guy that's big, I like to go in deep as well. So maybe that's what Petzilla wants to do. Again, those kicks are thunderous. Just tree trunks. And there are the knees on the inside. Those score high in the eyes of the judges, don't they? When you get those slap knees in, in that clinch. It's a lot of criteria. Blob Tang bringing down banana trees with the downstairs. Also bringing down his shorts as well. Shorts are falling. Based on what you guys are saying, I think I'm leaning Blob Tang again in this round. But again, for the audience at home, I'm blind. So. Love that right, followed by a left. He's really not joking around. He's working that jab. I'm so impressed by the boxing of Blob Tang. Blindfolded, he is finding the range, touching with the left, and then thundering in with the right, Ted. Do you remember when in in the Kumite where he got thrown the salt and the sand in his eyes and he had this inner demon? I think that's what Blob Tang is doing. Luke? Uh, I think Petzil is preoccupied because he probably has to like break down the ring later, drive a bunch of people home. He like wears a lot of hats at this company and shit. So you never, you honestly never get like 110% out of Petzil. He's usually preoccupied. Look, little look behind the probably, curtain. We should give him a raise, you know, and just let him fight. For once, once again, breaking the fourth wall, a little look behind the curtain of what Petzil does I for mean, this company. After the first fight, I think we can be real with the crowd, you know? Like, this is a great matchup, it sounds like, from what you got. Uh, ben, where are you? Where are you? really picking up. Ben, where are you putting this fight right now? Who's up? I think Blob Tang is up two rounds to nil. I mean, he's landing much more significant strikes. The pressure is there. Guys, I think in this third and final round, Petzilla body positive needs a stoppage, Luke. I agree. I agree. I agree. Totally. I don't know about big guys, but I know when I'm with big girls, I know how to handle that. And this is what Petzl needs to do. Sweet talk. He needs yeah. a sweet talk. He needs yeah. the caress. And I like the teep, all jokes aside, the teep straight down the center to that big bread basket could really do some damage this round. Yeah, it's got to be hard to miss that gut, even if you're blindfolded like I am. <laughs> Luke making a very fair point. You can see slow start, but Blob Tang moving ever so slightly into the center. Good luck, good left right great. there from Petzilla. But also great defense from someone wearing a Lucha Libre mask. And there are those rights up to the penthouse. He goes head hunting and it pays off. 
How's Oron doing? Oh! How's, oh. how's referee Oron doing? He's usually fond of somebody. <laughs> it's, 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 there's a lot of meat in the ring, and uh, I'm not really even noticing a little guy like that. You know what I mean? There's a lot of beef in there. A mechanical failure. Pedzilla's mask has come off, but now he can sort of get some eyes. Done. He gets a moment of sight, Ted. He may use this to his advantage, but it doesn't look like he has it. Again, great defense from Blobzilla. Love the left now. We saw the right earlier in round two. There comes the left. Oh, thundering. <laughs> thunderous to the belly. I felt that. It's just all fundamentals from Blob Tang. He is really just using the day one stuff. And uh, despite the sight, he is just pushing through Petzilla. When you have technique and power, why do you need cardio? And he's putting it on display right now, Luke. Oh. You need it because you want to live for a while. You know, you don't want to die when you're 32 or whatever. So. Now, his best weapon is his kick. His most deadly weapon is type 2 diabetes. Uh, third best weapon, the right hand. Petzilla's best weapon is he has no teeth. Yep. So you really can't frustrate the man by punching him in the mouth. Absolutely. Absolutely. Beautiful slap. Slap knees again, just laying that weight on him, as Bobzilla will do. Was that a trash can? Uh, yeah, it's almost like the Oakland A's. Bam. Houston Astros, I believe it was. Idiot. Fuck baseball. Idiot. Oh, Love the rights. Round three. Yeah. They Fuck end it swinging, Ted. What a beautiful performance by two blind athletes. Felt like Blob Tang did a bit better in every round, but Petzilla showed up the best he could. He did the best he could. I actually might think that he didn't have enough sight, and I don't want to blame the, the what, what that is, right? I mean, you, you enter into it, that's how it goes, but Blobzilla, way to go, Luke. Uh, yeah, is, is that third and final, or we got more rounds to go? I don't, have, I can't see my sheet. Third and final. Because again, I'm um, blindfolded. Third and final. Are we going to the judges? Are we going to the judges? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Listen. Listen. It's good. Three rounds. The judges have it all scored up. We're going with a magical overtime round. Pulling it out of my ass right now. They call it the miracle round. You want to know why? No, 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 no. I'm making this miracle happen. You can see. You can see now. Do you see what I did there? Miracles. They happen every day. You can now see. You can now see. Let's do this round. Wow. Both of them so, at it. Masks are off. What happens is, if you room. remember when you were in second grade and one Thank team was winning by so much, and the teacher was like, well, this next question is a gazillion points. <laughs> That's what's happening here. This next round is a gazillion points. Petzilla getting the opportunity of a lifetime, and color commentator Miracle Luke round. now has his sight. Has sight. Oh, not, these men are gigantic. This is unbelievable. It's good to see him go, and I wonder if they have three more minutes in them, but we're going to find out right now, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see the, the technique. Let's see the stamina right now because this has gone to sudden victory. 18 years elder is Petzilla body positive. Now he can leverage that wisdom and experience and technique in the ring, but Blob Tang looking powerful, Ted. He loves the yeah, up top. Working the alpha, old age Whoa. alpha. Blob Tang saying, let's go. Beautiful combo there from Blob Tang. Petzilla walking him down. Comfort from both guys, Luke. Yeah, I mean, Pet's looking for another notch in his belt, and this would be a fucking huge one here against Blobzilla. When Blobzilla turns oh, that hip, it's boy. almost like an eclipse. Oi! <laughs> He's Look at that! Right there. Out the oh, sun, it's baby. a new season every time he turns oh. his head. Nice right hand from Petzilla. Middle. You know, I love Blog Tang's um, confidence here and the gamesmanship, but Petzilla is landing a lot. He knows he has to take this, though the one millionth point round. You know what I mean? He knows he needs this now. But uh, is it enough? So far, I don't think so, guys. But I'd imagine being able to see now has improved his accuracy, like drastically. So uh, it's anybody's game here. Can we talk about the stamina of Blobzilla, please? How is he still standing at what? I don't know, 170 kgs? I don't know what that translates to in pounds. I think 300, but he's looking all right. I mean, winging those kicks, still putting on the pressure, but the gamesmanship. Yeah. Oh, oh. Hell, wow. a hell of an effort from both gentlemen based on what I heard yeah, and what I saw in these final pause. three minutes. Amazing. Overall great yeah. fight, guys. Overall great yeah. fight. Amazing. This, uh, this event was sponsored by Jungle Farms and Phuket High, best dispensaries on the planet. You guys, that, my friend, is a free eighth. That's what we do here. Ladies and gentlemen, a mother loving draw. What every fight fan wants, what every fight fan wants, a draw.
Am I right? Am I right? Okay. And women were turned on by the raw power. And in fact, the same things that made some people scared of him also made him, you know, very attractive. No kicks to the groin. No kicks to the dick. Zero dick kicking in this bout. That's another one that's happening later. We have that on, on Mark. Oh, easy, 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 easy. All right. Final round, your TC. Sudden death final round four. Your winner, Vietnam. 